Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ghost 11 Vice Squad, brought to you by the Andromus Fly Company and Fly Life Company, our sponsors. After you've watched this video, make sure that you go to our online store at fishingoutdoors.ca for Canadian shoppers and fishingoutdoors.net for U.S. and international shoppers. Also, if you like this video, obviously, please uh, hit the subscribe button and a little reminder bell. That way you don't miss any of our future episodes. Today, we're going to tie a little peeping caddis urine imitation. So, uh, first of all, we got size 14 um, jig hook from R R7 jig hook from Fly Life Company and a 3.5 millimeter tungsten bead in black nickel and then three wraps of um, 0.02 lead wire. So, as always, we're just going to start a thread right behind this wire. And then work our thread back. So then we're just going to cut our tag end. We're going to start with this uh, micro chenille in chartreuse. We're going to tie it in. We want it a little bit longer than we expected it to be in the first place. We are just going to tie it in right there. The reason we tie it in longer is so that we can trim it if we need to. And also we are going to melt it. So we want to make sure that we're not sacrificing any length right there. Cut that off. I'll make sure that we, we're going to use that to even out the rest of the body with the lead wire. So you want to cut it off before that. And then bring your thread back pretty heavy wraps and I think we're gonna trim this one just a little bit longer I'm gonna try to go with um uh, I want the head of the fly or the head of the caddis coming out to be even with this bend in the hook so we're gonna take a little bit off here and then we're gonna fuse it so once again we want that to be even here by the time we fuse it it should be just about take a lighter and oop and not talk while you use the lighter that way you don't blow it out and then you have this little round ball here at the end which i smashed a little bit so we're gonna redo it There we go. And you get that little head looking thing there. And it's also gonna make it a little more durable. We're also gonna take a little bit of golf thin man, thin man and just like dab it right on the end. Cause that's gonna be the weakest part of this and we don't wanna let it get off after you've caught 7,000 fish on this fly. It's gonna be amazing, right? So just like dab it on. It's also gonna give it another like layer of dimension. Just kinda cool. Hit with the UV flashlight. Look at that chartreuse glow in it, it's pretty cool. So then next we're gonna tie in a piece of black wire that we're gonna use the body. It's obviously gonna add a great segmentation, but also more weight to your fly. Always looking for ways to add weight to the fly, so this is a good one. Try to build a slight taper. It's gonna be a little hard with that wire. Try to build it the best you can. And then we're gonna half hitch off here so we can use the rotary function of the vise. I'm just gonna wrap the body here. stop right about there when I have when I have enough room in here to make a dubbing loop after this just 
then after you tie it down, which it looks like I haven't yet, yeah, loop over there, and then we're gonna helicopter it off. There we go. So there's the main body, and now we're gonna take a dubbing loop tool. First of all, we're gonna take our finger here and loop it over, a couple wraps, bring the bobbin around it, pull up, and then a couple more wraps again. Now we're putting our dubbing loop tool in, grab both sides, and we're gonna use gray squirrel dubbing. It's a personal blend that I've done myself. And mostly what we're looking for here is the guard hairs. They're gonna create a nice uh, soft tackle looking effect to the fly. It's gonna lay down over the wire in the end. It's kind of sparsely loaded up inside dubbing loop. I like to load up the whole loop even though I don't plan on using it all. I just like to have the option. Because in the end you can cut off whatever you don't use and spin. Pick this out a little bit. Get all over the place here. A little more spin, just to really beef it up. And then we are gonna pull it back as we wrap. Try to make sure it's even the whole way around and tie it off. Then snip it from there. Try to get the random longer ones out. Shouldn't be too many. We don't want any going past the, past the main bug here. Bring it back, trim the ones that are too long, don't over trim. And there we go. Now we're just going to half hitch off, and that's going to be it for the fly. Great looking soft tackle effect there that's going to lay over top of the fly. Look very nice in the end. Alright, thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate you guys. Um, as I'm sure you guys saw, this is probably the second week that Adam has been with us. Doing an awesome job over there. If you haven't saw, he is the Saturday video. Go back, check out his videos. He's doing some awesome stuff, especially some articulated stuff here in the future. Um, if you haven't yet, check out our online stores at fishingoutdoors.ca or .net for U.S. and international shoppers. And also like this video if you liked it. Like this video. Yes, yeah, that's, that's correct. Like this video if you liked it. Um, but make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the reminder bell because I don't want to miss you guys next Sunday. On that note, you guys have a great day. See you guys next week.